Today, on this first Sunday of Lent, we always have a gospel reading about the temptations of Jesus in the desert. Remember, after he was baptized in the Jordan River, Jesus went into a desert wilderness where he was tempted by the devil for 40 days. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and I suspect you're thinking, but he was God. How could God be tempted? Yes, Jesus is God, but he was also human. That doesn't mean he sinned, but it means that he, in his human nature, was tempted the way we all are. After all, what is temptation? Isn't it something that comes along and tries to divert us from doing God's will? That's what happened in the original temptation as described in the book of Genesis. Our ancestral parents were tempted to not follow God's will for them, but to do their own thing, to follow their own will. Jesus was tempted to do his own thing in the desert, and in the Garden of Gethsemane, he was tempted again. How did he deal with temptation? Well, in the desert, he quoted scripture back at the devil who was tempting him. And in the Garden of Gethsemane, on the night he was arrested, he prayed. He didn't want to die. He battled with himself and with the devil who was tempting him to think that his suffering and death would be useless. He prayed to the Father, asking that the cup of suffering might pass. But in the end, he addressed the temptation to run head on and prayed, Not my will, but yours be done, Father. So if you're ever tempted as Jesus was, do what he did. Pray and ask that God's will be done. Father James Kubicki is the National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. For prayer resources and to learn more about the Apostleship of Prayer, visit their website at apostleshipofprayer.org.